Zach, what do you do here at this place? Please tell me. So at the grow house, I'm the manager of the hydro farm. This building we're sitting in right here. Okay. This mm -hmm. is our commercial hydroponics production, which is going to help us supplement income and provide food low cost to the neighborhood. Fantastic. I can see you've got some plants started here. But look, I'm totally intrigued with what we're standing beside. Whatever in the world is this big thing? So this is some of the cooler technology that we have here mm -hmm. at the grow house. This is based on a geothermal principle, a uh, heat sink, and it allows us to do heating and cooling with the simple use of a fan. We'll pull okay. hot air from the attic, okay. draw it in through these tubes, and goes underground about three feet. Okay. We've got nearly a mile worth of tubes underground. Have you really? And that's perforated tube packed in soil. Okay. So we can remove that heat from the ceiling, draw it through the soil, and it cools it in the soil below, and then pushes cooler air through an exhaust tube in another part of the greenhouse. Now when the air turns And does cooler, it really work? It does really work. Does it really? It's, it allows us, especially mm -hmm. in the spring and the fall, yep. to use this as a first stage heating and cooling, which prevents us from using any sort of air conditioning or heating. So that's going to be a real big energy saver. Big energy savings for us. And it works in both directions. We can remove heat from the room and cool the room. Okay. Of an evening, we take cold air out of the roof, push it through that heated soil, and reuse that heat that we took wow. out of the room during the day to heat at night. I've read about this before. Does the soil temperature remain fairly constant? The soil temperature does remain constant. It only just a, only three foot down. Only at three foot down. It follows a a slower curve during the peak of the summer. Mm -hmm. That soil can get up around 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And then we'll slowly draw that heat back out of the earth as we work into fall and winter time. Fantastic. Show me what you're doing up here, Zach. Over here, you see where we're starting our seeds. Mm -hmm. We're using almost exclusively natural light in the building, but we are supplementing a little bit of light on our seedlings. We're planting around 1,500 seedlings at a time. Okay. Each of these rivers that you see can accommodate around 1,500 plants. Okay. We're planting that on a week to 10 day schedule, and then we'll harvest on that same schedule so that we have a perpetual crop available for the neighborhood and our suppliers. So through this you've got flowing some hydroponic nutrient? Yes. We got, and uh, uh, these plants are all at various stages I can see? Yep. And they're ready to go into the hydroponic system? Yep. When they get to just a little bit larger size in about six to seven days, most of these plants yep. will be ready for transplant. And our next round of seedlings will move into the flood table. And the uh, kind of conveyor belt we set up here will continue on. Keep it moving. So this is a really important part of the whole operation because you're going to be raising funds by doing this and supplying food to the local people, which is yes. really fantastic. This is a foundation for us to begin to become self-sustaining. Okay. We've had a number of grants, some very philanthropic people have helped us get to here, but our long-term goal will be to create jobs and revenue so that this whole entire operation can self-sustain. Zach, can you tell me why, why are you here personally? Because you strike me as being the kind of guy that could get a high-paid job somewhere. Why are you here? It's, Funny you say that. I spent six years selling surgical equipment. Uh -huh. I traveled the world for a year and realized that I wanted to work in something that I could feel good about. I felt is also going to cause me to continue learning, pushing my own self. And I'm getting all that here. We're helping the neighborhood, helping the local economy. This is the future hydroponics and aquaponics and education around food and where our food comes from to me is fundamental to addressing so many problems we have right now. So I'm here because there's not much else I could be doing with my time that makes me feel as good. Fantastic. Come on, Zach, let's go and you can show me some of the rest of the Zach, you've got some different kind of trays, like I've never seen this kind before. Yeah, it's very similar to traditional NFT trough uh, with a couple key differences. One, it's a little bit cheaper than the PVC plastic. Part of our goal here is to Lower our costs as cost. much as possible, be as low energy as possible. Also, there's two layers in this trough here, which mm -hmm. allows water to overflow and go into a second wow, trough underneath. Wow, that's neat. Gets better aeration to the roots and really addresses one of the bigger problems that you have with a traditional NFT system. NFT. So this is quite expensive. You know, it's a, how many plants could you get in here at a time? At, at when full, you're doing your rotation, you're talking about? full production, in the main growing system, we'll have nearly 7,500 plants. With seedlings preparing to come into the system, there'll be nearly 10,000 plants. So that will put out 
How many a week would you be able to put out the other end, do you think? We're, we're hoping to produce around 1,500 heads of lettuce a week. Uh -huh. A majority of these will go for commercial sale, which yeah. will supplement our efforts here. But a lot of them, two to 300 heads per week, will be distributed through the neighborhood at a low cost or donation basis. That's great. Zach, look, thanks for showing me your part of this operation. Appreciate I'm really, it, really proud to have had a look at it. And um, it's very impressive, I've got to say, because I've not seen anything like this before. See, you learn something new every day. Oh, thank you for coming out. Thanks, Zach.